Hi guys. Now welcome to part two of the three-part beach wave series. This one is using a blow dryer. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Now keep watching if you want to achieve this look. Let's start off with using our Living Proof Blowout Spray or any heat protectant that you have. This is to protect the hair from any heat damage that any product may cause. Now we're moving on to a mousse. This one's by Way. it's called the Soft Mousse. Now we're going to apply it all over the roots. Yes, mousse is making a comeback. And I'm gonna show you how to get more volume with the mousse towards the end of the video. Next, just part your hair wherever you want it and then section the hair in half. Clip it away so it doesn't get in the way. Take the hair that's left, pull it forward, and we're getting ready to blow dry. Take a half an, half an inch brown brush. I'm using the Nano Thermic Ion Brush. Now this is the part that gets tricky, guys. So what you're gonna wanna do is get your hand used to twirling away from the face. Take your round brush, start in the middle of the piece of hair, and twirl away as you go down twirl away as you go down. Now once you get down towards the end of the hair, you just wanna pull the brush away to try to leave the ends a little bit straighter. All right, now take your blow dryer. Hopefully it has a nozzle on it. That is much preferred. I'm using a blow dry, a dry bar blow dry with all the settings on high. And we're off. Again, take a piece of your hair, one hand on the blow dryer, one hand on the brush. Turn it on, start in the middle, twirl, moving down. Twirl, move down. Now guys, this is not gonna be perfect. It's okay, you don't have to be anal about it. Your hand might slip off the brush, your hair might fall off the brush, your hair might fall off the blow dryer, but it's okay. You're gonna wanna go over the same piece of hair probably two or three times, especially if your hair is wet or if you have day old hair, just to get the perfect curl that you want. Now that's what it looks like. Now you wanna just continue with the same twirling away from your face and moving down towards the hair. And this is the only direction we're going to do for the whole head. Once you're done with that side, move on to the other side. Again, starting in the middle twirling away as you go down. All right, and that's what it's gonna look like. Now once you're done with the bottom portion, I like to clip it so that it doesn't get in the way. Now we're on to doing the top portion of the hair. Now the top portion is going to do, or be the same as the bottom. Again, curling away, twirling as you go down, all in the same direction. And once you're done with one side of the top part of the hair, don't touch it, just let it set and just finish the other side. Now once you're done with the other side, just leave it again. It's gonna be a little bit tight curled, but that's okay. Now we're gonna work on making some volume with the top. This is why we put mousse on the top. So now we're just gonna grab the crown pieces of the hair, take your round brush, put it at the root, and we're just gonna blow dry at the root of the hair. Now you can see there's already a little bit of volume there. And just continue that with the rest of the hair that's on the crown. Take your round brush, Put it at the root. Don't brush it through the hair because you don't want to lose that curl or ruin anything that you already worked on. And just blow dry at the root. All right, so we're done with the crown. Unclip the rest of the hair. And you want to mess it up so that it's not so tightly curled. Bend over, mess it up a little bit, loosen up those curls. And we're not done just yet. One more thing to make it even more voluptuous is we're gonna grab a texturizing spray. I'm using a Rebase Dry Texturizing Spray or you can use whatever you have. Spray it towards the ends of the hair all over. Now once you're done with that, take a teasing comb, tease the ends of the hair up towards the face. You want a lot of body down at the bottom and towards the middle. 
Now if you want, this is optional, you can add more volume by teasing the root of your hair. I like a lot of volume with mine, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on both sides. And once you're done with that, you're all set. You have beach curls with the blow dryer. You can set it if you want to with a hairspray, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna find the way it is. Voila. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe.